The next item through the barn doors represents a little bit of farming history. Nicola Cleemore and her niece Emily, a hoping mechanically minded David Burville, can help restore an heirloom that travelled the globe with Nicola's father. Hello. Hello there. Hi, I'm Steve. Hi, Steve. I'm David. Hi. Hi. I'm Nicola. Right, what have we got in the box? All right, well, this is a 70 year old model of a Fergie, Ferguson tractor, that my father used after the war. The box itself makes the tracks. If you pull, yes, that's it. Oh. Yes, yes. Right. This is... It's not just a box. It's yeah. not just a box, no. This was the Ferguson tractor and yeah. used for... My father first went over to Africa. He took this as a salesman for Ferguson tractors to take out to farmers to show them how these new ploughs worked because at the time, apparently, these ploughs were revolutionary new ploughs. Right, so this is the demonstrator? Yes. This isn't a toy at all? No, it's definitely not a, oh, a right. toy. Because obviously your father couldn't drive around no. with a tractor to no. demonstrate no. it. So. No, we have got some photographs of my father on a tractor, on a Fergie, taking it off an aeroplane. He always talked about being the first person to take a Fergie over to Africa. Right. My father would have only been 22 and my mum was a couple of years old, she was 24. So for them to go out there, I think, was very, very brave. Yeah, it was quite an adventure, really. Yeah. Mm. To have something that he loved and something that he worked with on such an adventure, you know, we've all got an emotional attachment to this. Mm. It's really important to all of us. He was quite a larger-than-life character, and it's brought him to life as far as the, the grandchildren are concerned because they did miss out not knowing their, their grandfather. So this gives that sort of connection. So, obviously, the tractor is fairly well-worn and um, it's seen better days, but what would you like us to do with it? My brother and I can't ever remember it working, so the main thing for us is to, to see if the wind-up mechanism, which it refers to in the box as a label saying wind-up tractor, if you can get that wind-up to work again and uh, it to be red and shiny again. Yeah, it would be wonderful to see it working. And it would be good to put the seat back on. Yes. It's a lovely little red seat. A bit uncomfortable so, about that. Yeah, well, yes, <laughs> yes. So, um... What do you think then, David? I think we've got our work cut out, but I think it's, um, I think it's possible. Yeah. OK, thank you very much for bringing this thank in. You. Right. Delighted. Thank, thank you. Delighted. Thank you. Thank you very yeah, much. Lovely to meet you. you. Take care. Yeah. It would be amazing to see it working. That would be the pinnacle for us. But if they can't make it to actually move, just to see it in a, a shiny state would be fantastic as well. And what a legacy for my father and for, for his, his children and his grandchildren. <laughs>